morning y'all it's Wendy it is Thursday March 12th 2020 hang on for this one it's a doozy so King Asa of Judah sent gifts to King Ben-Hadad king of Syria and asked him to break his league with King Basha king of Israel because King Basha of Israel came up against Judah by building Ramah, a city, to let none go out or come in to King Asa of Judah. Got that? So, King Ben-Hadad went against Israel. So, King Basha stopped building Ramah, the city. And King Asa of Judah took all the stones and timber from Ramah, the city, and built other two cities, uh, Geba and Mizpah. Then King Asa died with probably gout. It says it's a disease in his feet. He didn't die of that, but anyway, he died of old age probably. Anyway, that was fun. I... Not sure I get any of that, but anyway. Um, yeah, so Romans, in the New Testament, Romans chapter 2, it says, Don't judge others or God may judge you. So, God is not a respecter of persons. Which is good. And, and we should practice the same thing. We should practice what we preach. So... He was saying the differences between the Jews and the Gentiles, and it got complicated. But anyway, that was the general gist of it. <clears throat> All right, now, um, I think I may have done this devotion before, but I liked it so much that I'm doing it again. So it's called Passion and Purpose. So it says, a clean heart is essential for your eternal potential. <laughs> they may not have meant to rhyme, but hey. God's will for our lives is done by the Holy Spirit in the renewing of our minds in God's word. So yet another reason to read God's word, uh, because that is how our minds are renewed. And if you're like me and you struggle with memory loss... Um, for different reasons, then, um, that is encouraging to me because, and us, um, because as long as we have God's word and we can read it and pray for understanding and wisdom and to be able to carry it out, then we're going to be okay. Um, that may be oversimplifying because I know that there are health reasons why people struggle with memory loss. But in general, that um, comforts me and um, encourages me. So if I'm, <laughs> so my family members will have to read God's word to me if I'm to the point where I can't read it myself or understand it. Yeah, you're welcome, family. Anyway, um, love you guys. Uh, let's see. Thursday, so I'm going swimming today with my mom, and we, um, if you, uh, I didn't get to post very many pictures, but if you are interested in art, especially if you remember, um, if you went to school with me, we had an art teacher named Matthew Baumgartner, which I really liked him, but anyway, um, he he, his, some of his artwork is at Furman University in their Duke Library. Um, as you go on campus, you go in, you take a left towards the library, and it's a cup, it's maybe one, maybe two buildings down on the right. And you have to park on the left. Uh, there's a parking lot back there on the left across from the library. Anyway, um, incredible artwork. 
Uh, he has an incredible testimony and story. Everything about him is, is interesting to me. And, um, so it was a real huge blessing. And if you, if they're, I don't know how, I don't know how often they have art, um, exhibits on the second floor of the library, which is where his is right now. It's only going to be through the end of March. So go, go quickly, go now. Um, but we got a personal tour of their, com it's kind of, I don't know what they call it, but not really a conference room, but okay. What they did was, um, I don't know if you know this, but Furman University started in downtown Greenville, okay? And in their first building in downtown Greenville, they had the most gorgeous, um, what are they called? Um, they're not painted windows, but they're colored glass windows, stained glass windows, okay? Gorgeous, um, very unique. Um, so what they did was, the interesting story was that when that building got, um, taken down or whatever, so that they could move to where they are now, <clears throat> those stained glass windows got put in like a, a back room somewhere and forgotten about. And so when they built the new campus... Somebody was like, hey, look at these amazing stained glass windows. They're gorgeous. Let's put them in our new buildings. So what they did, though, is they put them in this little private room. Um, so I'm not even sure if they let people normally in there, public normally in there. But this precious lady who works there let us go in there and take pictures and um, read. There's some... Um, explanations of how the university has developed and etc. And um, anyway, it's just fascinating. You should go. And also, of course, everyone loves the Caroline and the lake and um, the, you know, all the, the uh, birds. And um, they have a, a swing. And they have a bunch of benches. They, I think, they even have picnic tables. Um, they have a gazebo uh, if you're trying to do a little party or whatever. Um, I'm telling you, go. It's a beautiful campus. Um, uh, I don't even think I know of anyone who, who went there for, for um, college, but it's just a beautiful campus, and um, it's something nice to do um, in Greenville. So I've said enough. I love you guys. Shoot me your pair of quests. I'll talk to you tomorrow.